Well, I guess first question: How have you? How is everything with with your end? Obviously, I know the the, the film and TV community has been a, obviously a bit up and down, and cinemas have still been closed and everything else. But for you as actors, I can imagine it's been a bit strange as well, even yeah, without I, all the other stuff going on. Yeah, it definitely was strange. Um, I mean, at the beginning of lockdown, obviously, like normal people came out like right at the start. Um, when you know that was, I guess, the first time where work had completely shut down and the industry literally shut down for the first time since film has been around you know which is such an insane thought you know everyone to be out of jobs so quickly like crew like everybody um so I was really fortunate you know to have done Danny Boy we, we filmed that you know last October um so not even that long ago and that was my first job back you know with COVID and you know it was definitely a different way of working but it was a it was kind of an, in some ways a new and kind of more efficient way of working like because everyone is really conscious of space and time and time within space and ventilation and you can only have so many people and only the really necessary people need to be there and you know so it's a different way of working and it, it comes with a lot of challenges and I you know I really felt for the the COVID kind of coordinators who are who are hired in by by the production company to make sure COVID because they're not necessarily used to the film set world but they have to make sure the COVID stuff is all kept under wraps so it was great to be a part of something of everyone pulling together with something that was so new for everyone um but it but people really did get on board with it and and yeah it was actually it was such a great experience yeah how how is that experience in terms of obviously in this in in Danny Boy you obviously play a wife and you know you're obviously uh, close with your husband and intimate all that kind of stuff so and obviously I've read that like you know things like casualty have had two stand-ins for you know certain moments where you don't really know and then there's all the stuff like I know obviously Tom Cruise has said some things you know over over the course of it so how is that is it is it very very different or did you find it uh not so much a challenge but kind of uh, exhilarated in some way and that it, as you say it was it was very different allowed you to kind of do things maybe slightly differently I can imagine it's a weird experience yeah I mean we were we're COVID tested every second day so so everyone is getting a COVID test so that's how every second day um starts and you know thankfully you know there was no one had gotten COVID and you know production didn't shut down which we were really fortunate about you know because this isn't you know this isn't bat- looking at your background this isn't Batman you know what I mean so if, if things had to if things had to you know if things had to shut down you know that would have been a, a huge a huge problem so thankfully you know you know that didn't happen and for you know one or two of the more intimate moments I think the conversation did happen like oh would we like oh should you be allowed to kiss like like oh do we need to be kind of careful with that kind of stuff and you do but I think the fact that we had had all the negative test results you know we're being tested you know every second day as I said so I think the kind of conversation was agreed that it's really important that we tell it a truthful and a natural story while still maintaining safety and everyone's safety which I think was also being looked after really well so you know I think it's still a film is forever that's going to be there forever and you know it's important to have it accurate and not let COVID completely take over especially in some of one of those more intimate moments. Yeah, hundred percent. So, I mean, a huge congrats on the show, and well, the, it's a film technically, I guess. Yeah, you know, it's a it's a feature length kind of kind of deal, but uh, it it deals with a lot of issues that have become they've always been at the forefront of people's minds in terms of war and you know doing stuff for your country and all that kind of stuff. So, there's so much going on. But in this, what I really liked about it was that you see you very rarely see kind of the the other side of it, which is the going home, the dealing with you know people deal with PTSD all that kind of stuff which is really emotionally draining for everybody so I just wonder as a first question what what kind of drew you to the script what what was it about the character or the story or everything that kind of drew you in and thought yeah this is something I would love to get involved with I mean that exact element that you're talking about there definitely because I you know being from Ireland and my background like I don't have anyone who's ever served I don't have any knowledge I before now I didn't really have any knowledge of like the army world and kind of what that meant and I guess you know bar which would be the same for a lot of people like what you see on television or like what you see in films or documentaries of people that are actually serving or being portrayed in film um so that thing of the people that are kind of left at home and the spouses and you know I read so much about these 
army spouses who are mostly women you know there are some men and women who serve but mo mostly women and wives who are left behind raising kids on their own and not knowing you know when someone is going to come home if they're going to come home and when they do if you're lucky that your partner just come home you know the fact that they are quite a different and changed person and I know Brian Wood and from his experience, I found that a really interesting aspect of the script and their story of what it's like for family life after that, you know, and I know he speaks about kind of where the army was definitely lacking in terms of, you know, the lack of counselling, like no one approached him to, you know, for counselling ever after the experiences and everything that they had had, you know, even before the Al Sweden inquiry. So what is the ripple effect of that? How do families go on from that? And you know, kids who, you know, especially when babies and they grow up years or months, you know, one far away. And it's it's such a it's such a difficult thing. And I think reading Lucy's part, she she is kind of the glue that has to hold everybody together. And she is this women are so amazing. And I have such a respect for mums now because I've never played a mum before. And it was such a privilege for me to get to do that as my first role as a mum to play such a lovely person, someone who's just so filled with love and she is so kind and she really operates out of kindness and for the complete well-being of other people and she's so selfless um so I just thought it was such a beautiful role and it's a really important story yeah and also I guess as a as a, as a young actress like you said you talk about playing a mother which is a which is a very if you're not a mother already it's a very challenging <laughs> thing anyway let alone portraying it on screen so in terms of that was there much kind of research that you did or did you just talk to your mum and just, just kind of get little nuances because I guess you also got the fact that it's a real based on a real story or stuff like that so you've got stuff to draw on but was there something specific yeah. that you did to to kind of portray that part of of Lucy? Yeah, like I definitely chatted to my mom and I know there is a scene where, you know, I'm going into labor and stuff because I'm like, you know, that is something where you can read as much as you want about it and, you know, do all the research you want. But like that is an experience I don't think you will ever understand until you actually go through that. And, I, you know, I was chatting to my mom about like all, you know, I have two, bro I have a brother and a sister. So all the different, what each of her labor experiences were like and at what point is it really painful? Like, can you speak or are you like, breathing too much you need to focus on your breathing and you know she explained all of that to me and um I actually worked with this little this little boy who plays my son when he's a bit younger when he's two and the mum who was there on the first that was actually our first day filming and she, I was chatting to her loads and seeing how she was with him and she actually we, you know that thing of I had to build rapport with him because they're very like again moms are so amazing he just wanted her and was like had to be on her hip like all the times like in her arms so that kind of transition over and just chatting to her and he was so heavy like I again mom like she must be like literally like iron woman because I went to pick him up and I was like oh my god I'm so weak like I wouldn't even have thought I was such a weak person but he like weighed a ton and he was only like two and I'm like these women are carrying around these like mini boulders all day like every day a week in week out I'm like it's just incredible <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good as well that you you had to do that scene before you shot it before uh I don't know if you've seen pieces of a woman the Vanessa Kirby film where yes. there's like half an hour of you know madness yeah. as it were in, in many different yeah. ways but it that that itself is such a challenging I remember talking to her about it and she said it's just unless you've done it like you say it's a hard yeah. it's a hard thing she to did do. such an amazing job that film was incredible it's like one of the most longest opening sequences before the credits wasn't it that, it's about half an hour yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Before, yeah, it's yeah. Wow, she did. She did such an amazing job. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you did a good job as well. I have to say. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, I mean, uh, 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 let me tell you, ask you about the kind of relationships you have, uh, with with Anthony with Brian, because obviously, as I say, it's kind of based on a real experience of someone and real life and everything else. But I guess you have to, because it's such an intimate relationship. You guys have to. I mean, did you like sit with each other before for a while before you went into it? Did you kind of work out kind of your patterns and everything and then help you kind of dive into to what is a you know obviously a very dramatic story yeah I mean me and Anthony didn't know um each other like we knew of each other um but we, we didn't know each other beforehand so we got to go into rehearsals I think in the two weeks before we shot which 
for me I find re- with this something like this story I find rehearsals beneficial not so much in the sense of really doing the scenes over and over because you know it's not theater you know you want it to be really fresh but what I loved about this rehearsal time was that me that exact thing me and Anthony did just get to sit with each other and really bond and just like chat and chat about them as people and chat about what we thought about them and just we really had time to get to know each other and we really instantly clicked and we had such a great chemistry and we got on so well. And I think that that time to have together is really important, especially if you're playing husband and wife, but not only husband and wife, they were together for years, like, you know, child, like teenage sweethearts. So it was great to forge connection with the person you're meant to be depicting that kind of a relationship with, as opposed to rocking up on the first day of filming and you've got these really intimate and intense scenes and you've never even spoken before, you know? So it's, it's so, it was so nice to get to know Anthony as a person so we could do a better job, I think, and portraying Brian and Lucy and hopefully that, that comes across. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, the other thing as well, you've got a fantastic ensemble. You've got obviously Toby Jones, who's like, you know, Hollywood royalty in some way. Yeah. Br- British royalty, should we say, the amount yeah. of stuff that he's done. Uh, and ironically, I, I didn't realise this until I watched it. Obviously, Alex Ferns, I know from EastEnders, but he's actually, you mentioned Batman. He's actually in Batman. Yes, <laughs> uh, yes. But the reaction of people seeing him in the trailer and people, is that the guy from EastEnders? Like looking a yeah. bit rough and he's got like a grey beard and and everything else he's that's, so that's... funny he's done <laughs> such great stuff as well since he since he did i never saw him in any standards but he's done such amazing roles like in chernobyl like i because actually that's where i recognized him when i saw he'd been added to the cast and i was like oh my god like, that's the guy in chernobyl he has an amazing scene like the coal miner I'm like he's great like so like that's what i knew him from um but yeah he's he's so great i can't like and I'm really not just saying it there's such a great bunch of people on this like we had because obviously that's I had all my stuff with Alex and with Anthony um and another actress and like Pauline and we we all got so well and they were all just hilarious and we well it was really important to I think have those lighter moments when you are dealing with such heavy subject material you still need to be kind of having a, a nice environment to be working in and it was such a lovely environment with them and with Sam Miller everyone was so friendly just so kind and it's that atmosphere to be working in that atmosphere I feel like it makes all the difference when you're yeah. filming yeah absolutely I wanted to ask you about Sam as well Sam your director because he has gone judging by his IMDb page, I didn't know too much about him before but looking at his IMDb page he did He's done some Snowpiercer. He's done uh, I May Destroy You. He's done Daredevil, like all these amazing things that he's got. Luther, I think he did as well. Yes, uh, yeah. It must be great, even though you're, you know, I think the, the blur between films and TV is such now that, you know, in 20 years ago, people would be like, you're going to do TV? Oh dear. Whereas now it's yeah. such a great platform. There's so many amazing artists and, and filmmakers yeah. doing some amazing things in TV. It must be great to work with someone that's had so much experience that you can kind of learn from and, listen to his experience and trust that he's wanting to make the, the the story the best it possibly can be yeah it was it was such a great experience he and as you said you know his his cv speaks for himself for itself but he is so experienced but meeting him and just getting to speak with him like he has such a calm presence like he is so relaxed and I feel like someone that is so confident in what they're doing I feel like that's where that calm comes from is he is so confident and when you have a director that's like that you know that is so confident in themselves and in what they're doing in their place and in leading you know because they lead it and it all trickles down so the energy that your director brings that will stem onto everything else and he is so like I remember I got him when we finished I got him like this zen living book because he just reminds me of like one of those really zen like Buddhist monks and this is book that I have that I love (laughs) And he's just so, but he's just so kind and it makes you feel so relaxed, but also just so effortless. And that comes obviously from his, his personality, obviously, but also from that experience, he is just so experienced and that really kind of shone through. And I had such faith in him and he has such faith in you. You know what I mean? Like he, he gives you that confidence. He gives you his confidence. And I'm so appreciative to have met him and to have gone on so well with him. You know, he's, she's just great. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned it at the top of the show and I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you about normal people because um, I, it, it's obviously it's a huge success. Everybody loves it. Everybody wants season two, even though you kind of think maybe it's something that doesn't need a season two because it's kind of finished mm-hmm. quite nicely and everything else. But I mean, so I've seen so many people over the years who say that, you know, when they have success, it doesn't really happen to them. It just kind of happens 
you know, you've done the thing that you do and it's outside, but being at home and seeing people's reactions and stuff, did it surprise you at all that it was so successful or did you, ex- did you think this is really, really special and I'm so glad to be a small part of it? I think I was so glad to be, to be a small part of it. I think it came at a time where people needed something to really connect to and get on board with. I think a lot of people were left feeling very kind of shaken at that time. Like everyone, like every person in the world who with the busiest schedules in the world, it stopped for literally everyone. And it was a moment I think in time that was special because it is a really true story and it's really, it's a really naturalistic story. And, you know, it's obviously so Irish and I'm, I, I feel so proud to be a part of a story that's that iconic, like Sally Rooney story. And that is so Irish, but there's so many Irish elements to it. But as a young person and teenage love and the experiences as teenagers, I feel like it was like a universal connection because it captures moments in love you know mental health just trying to get on with life as a young person that is so universal and I feel like it's really important to tell those stories and to tell those stories in a really honest way and that's what I I'm so proud of it for its honesty and kind of its bravery and how it approaches things and how it really just show that to everyone and yeah I was just so proud to have been to have been a small part of it. Yeah, I can imagine. It was uh, huge, huge. Like we were talking about it for, it kind of snuck up on us because we didn't know too much about it. And then it was like, oh, it's a big thing. Uh, yeah. I think, as you say, it benefited, it was not in a thing way, but like benefit from people being at home because they did need something to, I think that story was 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 wonderful. Uh, but just for you as an actress, I mean, you've done, you've done that, you've done Danny Boy, I know you've done some Vikings, you've done some other stuff. So you've done a very variety of different things. Are you enjoying being able to have that variety given that, you know you haven't been in the industry for a huge amount of time but it's it must be good to have that variety so early on yeah like it really really is and I'm and I feel quite aware of that and I do feel really appreciative of it because it's something that I've always been really conscious of that I don't want to get boxed into anything because I feel like the industry does love to do that it loves to pigeonhole people um and that's always something that I've actively want to avoid and I've been so lucky up to this point that they like the industry has allowed me to do that and has chosen me to do those parts and you know even the next thing I'm going on to now is again so different and not like anything I've done before so it really seems to be working out in the way I've always wanted it to so I'm so far so I'm I'm so happy with everything so far and I I just hope it, it keeps going that way because I want to do every single type of role that exists under the sun like (laughs) everything um you know so so that's definitely always been my thing and I'm I'm really appreciative that that's how it's going so far is that next thing one of those things that I say what is it and you go I can't (laughs) say I know which is so annoying (laughs) but it is I know I hate being that person like oh I have this really exciting thing but I can't tell you what it is you'd be be surprised the amount of times that most people uh, not just interviews with me but interviews that they've done especially in zoom world where someone's gone hmm is that that mean you're doing a marvel film or you're doing uh, you know line of duty season set you know it's it's always got to be something big when actually sometimes it's not it's just that you can't talk about it for different reasons yeah no it's not no no okay it's not a marvel movie I can tell you (laughs) <laughs> not yet uh, not it yet it was a really amazing role though in, in a really exciting project um so um start i start filming in a month so hopefully once we start filming there should be an announcement then so oh, watch fantastic. this thing fantastic <laughs> now i would i would i, I will end it with a with a question just about you and normally i would say something like oh do you aspire to do something but i feel like that's something where it's like well i'm an actress and i like to work so and i'm happy to do everything but is there is there someone maybe an act another actor that no matter what they offered you if they offered you a part with that particular person that you would just do it even if when you read it it was like the worst thing you ever read <laughs> so like if there was a person but the thing was really bad yeah is there someone like I don't know just pluck it out like if someone said to you we offer you a lead co-lead in a role with Meryl Streep but it's not very good you would just say yes or is there someone that you would just say yes to I know Daniel Kaluuya I just and I actually I've been speaking about him loads but I always speak about him he's just for me and my generation and, and the actors amongst my generation who are doing really well, he is the person 
that I look at that I just think in everything he does and the type of acting that I'm just talking about that I love to do there is such variation he never repeats himself it's never the one thing he's so different in everything and he just takes everything in his stride and he's just so mega talented so like that 100% will be my person that in terms of doing a co-lead with or something like that that would be like the dream like absolute dream yeah he comes with the oscar now of, of course so you know <laughs> i know well, I'm, like, I'm like it's so i'm like i've been saying this about him way before he got an oscar so i've always i've always felt that him. i'm just like oh, of course he's getting an oscar he deserves everything he's he's so great so yeah. Yeah, it's also it's very cool. strange that i know him from early when he was in the uh, i think the, the second johnny english film <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. He's done, pretty, he's done pretty well for himself, considering. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And skins <laughs> and skins and stuff. But I mean, he's so talented. I mean, like he wrote an episode of Skins and stuff whenever like he was doing mm. that. Like he just tapped into. He's just tapped into something great. That guy, I think he always has been. And I, I love, I love seeing people that are just so deserving of it. Just getting all the best stuff. It's just, it's such a great thing to see. It. It's really inspiring. I think he definitely defines the word powerhouse because I feel like anything he does, yes. it's just. It's, it's just like, in whoa. and I think he yeah. now has with the Oscar he's kind of like well I want to make this now so give me some money do you know what I mean like yeah, he's, he's got the amazing. power to do it, so literally uh, maybe there's a rom-com you know maybe they'll offer you a rom-com with Daniel Kaluuya something a bit lighter for you both maybe I, 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 whatever it is I'll do it I don't care what it is <laughs> uh, well thank you so much for your time absolute pleasure chatting to you uh, I know you've already got other things to do but thank you so much for your time uh, I hope this show and Danny Boy goes really well for you uh, thank I you so much. Really, really enjoy it. Thank you so much for thank your time. Thank you so much, God. It was such a nice chat. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!